Hello folks, Dave here. Right, we've already looked at Varese and La La Land. Let's look at some of the other major soundtrack uh, record labels. Uh, another one is FSM. There's Movie School Media, there's Quartet. Intrada. Let's look at Intrada. Uh, got a bunch of Intrada releases. I'll start with this one because it's the only one I've got on vinyl. Night Crossing by Jerry Goldsmith, which I would have waved in front of this camera before. And in fact, there are a bunch of Goldsmiths and Williamses in here, so yeah, repetition and repetition and repetition. We'll start off with that's a classic, it's the Amazing Mr. Blunden by Emma Bernstein. Yeah. Um, and then some TV, the, is this a two-disker? Yeah, it's a two-disker, uh, is Anthology 1 from Amazing Stories, which I may also have shown before because of my John Williams uh, collection. But it's got James Horner and Bruce Borton and George de la Rue and David Shire and all sorts of people on it as well. marvellous bit of Horner Americana in the Copeland disc mould uh, with some songs as well American Tale Goldsmith Baby Secret of the Lost Legend more classic Bernstein is the Black Cauldron now that's nominally a Walt Disney Records release but it was in collaboration with Intrada so they've got their name on the back even though it hasn't got one of their label numbers Black Patch and The Man I've talked about that before because it's it was a Kickstarter and it's got lots of people on the booklet. That's not going to focus on those, is it? No. But uh, yeah, I'm in there. Gerard, Henry Mancini, 100th anniversary, it says there. That's of the studio, not of the film. <laughs> More classic Horner is Cocoon. Cocoon. More obscure Goldsmith is Damnation Alley. Two disc version of a Chuck Norris movie, Delta Force 2. Not the world's best movie, I'm sure, but Frederick Talgorn is a good composer. Um, and the same could be said for Mark McKenzie, who's a very good composer, and Dr. Jekyll and Ms. Hyde. How 80s can you get? It's not a brilliant piece of artwork, but there we are. Now then, here's one that I have only got as digital download. Um, but I printed myself off a record uh, CD sleeve for it. It looks almost like the real thing, doesn't it? DuckTales, which is David Newman. And then we have Duel, uh, Billy Goldenberg for Steven Spielberg. Now that's the cover that came with it, which I think is a bit dull. Duel, dull. Um, Thankfully, somebody on the Film School Monthly, the Film School Monthly forums, have got a great thread. It's run over several years. Um, custom CD cover designs, where people will redo designs for records where the original was either a bit rubbish or just not as inspired as it could have been. Um, yeah, so if someone did that. 
which is great fun and a lot better. Then there is, of course, that expansion of the Eigner Sanction. It's an absolutely glorious release, that is. Now, I think so far, these have all been from the... ISC International uh, Intrada Special Collection or the INT Excalibur Collection but before those there were the old MAF Marianne Fake series of which uh, Extreme Prejudice is one example that's a, another goldsmith Another example of that is another Mark McKenzie is Frank and Jesse. And of course, <whistles> The Great Escape. One of those pieces of film music that is recognisable and known to non-film music fans. They all know The Great Escape. Might be an interesting idea to do a video at one point of film music that you think is known by non-film music fans. There'd be a couple of Elmer Bernsteins, quite a few John Williamses, only one or two Goldsmiths, one or two Elfmans. Interesting set, uh, Jerome Moros. Bruce Broughton, Honey I Blew Up the Kid. Another nice Goldsmith Western Arrow of the Gun. More Goldsmith Inchon. Um, and Invaders from Mars, which includes both the orchestral score by Christopher Young and the synth score by David Scores and the synth score by... It's all sorts of gubbins. couple more of the old MAFs we got Islands in the Stream more Goldsmith and Miklos Roja Ivanhoe nice re-recording the Symphony of London under Bruce Broughton there that's a classic glorious that one Land Before Time it's James Horner again and Craig Safan the last starfighter lonely guy um, a sort of expansion there's a lot of just um, alternates and things because the original LP of that was very 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 short indeed it's lost in space scored by Bruce Broughton there was an original shorter one of that with songs on it as well Cliff Eidelman's Maiden is very nice. Cliff Eidelman's um, underappreciated composer. I talked about that before. The uh, the four disc set of Masada, as it says on there, Goldsmith and Morton Stevens. More Bruce Broughton loveliness. Mickey Donald Goofy, the Three Musketeers. That's really good. He's doing a lot of kind of interpolations of pieces of classical music in amongst really good themes of his own. Two Monkey King scores by Christopher Young. Those are really nice. The original and the expansion of Monsignor by John Williams. So is that. Another one that's nominally uh, a Disney release, but it is in association with Intrada, is Elfman's Oz the Great and Powerful. We have a twofer by George Delarue, which has got the pickup artist and Sherlock Holmes in New York. It was the Sherlock Holmes that I bought it for, really. I've been kind of collecting as many different Sherlock Holmes scores as I can. Uh, and then we've got uh, Players by Goldsmith. Predator by Silvestri. 
only got that recently, it's far too late. More Bruce Broughton, the Presidio. Goldsmith's Psycho 2. Uh, and the TV series QB7. Basil Polidurus, Red Dawn. Getting through them. John Scott. There's only a few John Scotts that are released on real labels rather than his own JOS records, and that's one of them. Red King, White Knight. Got this as a sale, I think. Richard Band's Remote. Uh, this is a sort of synthy score, I think, if I remember rightly. More Goldsmith, Rio Conchos. Two absolutely glorious classics. Glad to have expansions of them. Had the originals, just had to buy the expansions, which are James Horner's Rocketeer. That is awesome. Nice alternate artwork on the inside there, which is really rather nice as well. And then Goldsmith's The Shadow, that's one of my favourites. More Bruce Broughton, we've got Shadow Conspiracy and Silverado. Silverado's great. And another John Scott, Shogun Maeda. Scott's another one who's under uh, under-recognised, I think. George de la Rue, something wicked. John Williams Space Camp. Miklos Roja, Spellbound. That's really nice. That's a re-recording. Alan Wilson, Slovak Radio Symphony Orchestra. Fair enough. Celia Sheen on the theremin. Another one of Broughton's classic westerns, Tombstone. Nice. Warlock. We have the original by Goldsmith. And The Armageddon, a sequel by Mark McKenzie. Nearly there. Some big expansions. Silvestri's Roger Rabbit, I mean I had the original on vinyl and then the original CD and now this is a, what is that, it's a three disc set, it's also got some of the, um, some of the cartoon shorts which are uh, Roller Coaster Rabbit and Trail Mix Up by Bruce Broughton and also Tummy Trouble by James Horner, that's good to have. Wind and the Lion, another classic bit of Goldsmith. And then Young Sherlock Holmes, which I originally had on vinyl. Well, I originally didn't have it at all because it was hard to find for many years. And then they did a nice release on CD and then a nice triple disc release on CD. So, yeah. That's my Intrada stuff and I've come in under 14 minutes this time. What should we do next? Have well, a look. Think about it. In the meantime, you know the line: stay fresh, cheese bags, yada yada yada. <laughs>